tracking problem. So it looks like our common denominator in this instance is going to be a 6x. So multiplying 6x across, we end up with 24 over x minus 10 over, this should be 6x, is equal to x squared over 6x. And because they have a same common denominator, we can just drop it. So we end up with 14 is equal to, this should be x. And this should be 24 minus 10x. <laughs> Sorry, it's equal to x squared. Since they all have the same common denominator, we can just drop them. So getting everything on one side, we'll end up with x squared plus 10x minus 24 is equal to 0. So looking here, looks like we can do an x plus 12 and an x minus 2. And that gives us x is equal to negative 12 and 2. But we don't want to just say, hey, that's the solution. We want to test it. So let's do 4 over 2 minus 5 over 3 equals 2 over 6. 2, so 2 minus, 2 minus. So that's equal to 6 over 3. That's 2. Um, minus 5 over 3 equals one third. So that does equal one third. So two checks out. So let's check out negative 12. So negative 12, four divided by negative 12 minus five divided by three equals negative 12 divided by six. So this is negative three or negative three, negative one third minus five thirds is equal to, this ends up being negative two. So negative one and then negative six is negative, or negative one, negative five is negative six over three, um, which does equal negative two, which matches what's over here is negative two. So that means that both negative 12 and two check out, and that means they're both a solution. Okay, I hope this problem helped you out. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and you have a great day.